Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This guy. I've asked him to what? be in a video with me today and... And I said yes. You did say yes. So what's the problem? Today we have not one, not two, but three thread up boxes. Don't worry, it's not gonna be a super, super long video. Each box only has 10 items. So you probably already know from the title, these are kids shoe rescue boxes. Now I will say I have had all three of these, one from probably April and the other two from May. They've been shoved in the corner of my office, but I've decided to hold on to them. Side note, if you are on the Kidizen app, awesome. If you're not, I do have a link below where you can save $5 on your first purchase, but we have an event coming up over there called Kid Economy. Long story short, anyone can sign up. It's free. All you do is agree to purchase at least one item from another participating shop during the time. And the hope is to simulate the entire economy over on Kidizen, Kid Economy. And it's a fun time. I have made tons of sales extra during one of the events. I've made not so many, but it's just a fun thing to do. So uh, I also use List Perfectly. I also have a code for that down below. It's free to cross list over to that platform. So they take women's and kids items. And yeah, so I decided to hold these so that I can get them listed just before the new kid economy starts. So I'm pretty sure today is July 27th. I think signups, they happen the first week of August. If you're interested, this video is gonna go live today, the same video or same day we're recording. Send me a comment or a message over on Instagram. My info is gonna be linked in the description. And I can tag you in a post over there that has all you need to know. You do have to tag all of your items with a certain hashtag, but it's fun. You can always tell when Kid Economy is happening, right? Oh yeah. Because there's just a lot more packages going out through Kidizen, which right. hasn't happened in a while. So these boxes are typically $40 for 10 pairs of shoes, which plus tax and shipping, I get free shipping because I've spent too much money with ThreadUp, but I, I always wait till I have a little bit of credit built up. So for each box, I spent $40.20, $39.60, and $28.74. All in all, $108.54, provided I have exactly 30 pairs. Sometimes I do send you an extra pair or two if they're teeny teeny or just random flip flops. But I will put down in the description what the final cost of goods was, but at this moment, without looking, it's $3.62 per pair, which yes, that is a bit of a higher cost of goods if you're not someone used to selling kids' items. I know at my local Goodwills, kids' shoes are now like five to $12. Like prices have definitely increased. Once upon a child, same thing. You're not really gonna find any for less than $3. Now, I've gotten some amazing boxes of this and I've gotten some complete duds. And I will say I'm a little nervous because two of them are from Arizona. I haven't had good experiences from Arizona when it comes to the, this particular box. They're usually garbage. However, my once upon a child takes almost every single pair of shoes I bring, no matter the size or condition. So that's what I'm gonna do. I do have a special guest here today. She may or may not make an appearance, but it's summer, kids are here running around. So if you hear anything, that's them. But I have my middle here who loves shoes as much as I do. And so she's hoping that we can find a pair or two for her keep for keep, yeah. the upcoming school year. So having three kids, these kids boxes are always great for us. There is always something for at least one of my three. So all that said, let's dig in and see what I can find to list for Kid Economy and all right. let's make some so, profit, right? Show movies down. So, <clears throat> oh, you wanna show them the stack? I mean, I'm happy to be getting rid of this out of my office. So, there we go, yeah, yep. All three boxes. <laughs> so I did make sure I looked at the top. Let's do one from Arizona, the Georgia in the middle, and we'll finish with Arizona, okay. so. Should I just open it over here? I can hand you a pair. Is sure. It kind of keep our space clean here. Or you can talk about a pair too, and they like to hear from you. I mean, Let's see, that's not, a, there's a pair. All right. Here's a pair. Here's a pair. Because they are just thrown in the boxes. Like they're not yeah. like organized Every together. now and then you get, Arizona does not do air bubbles. They do a little bit of paper on top. Yeah. We don't need that. Okay, so these <clears throat> are nothing to write home about. These are a perfect example of a once upon a child shoe, which I typically get around $1.50 per item when I take things there. These are a kid's size seven, and I don't even see that they have a brand. They are dirty, but for once upon a child, I won't even clean them up. This is what I will take. It never, it never says the discount. Yeah, yeah I have to look it up on there. So these are so far a- Their retail no. price. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> All right, next we have a pair of Nike oh, soccer cleats. Perfect time to be listing those. Size- Right here. One. Oh, yeah. 
I'm not sure with the, the letters being sideways there if it's supposed to be Magista. But I love Nike because sure. the style but numbers in there. They're in decent shape. They've been walked around on uh, some concrete a little bit. You can, there's some, what some are these wear. For? These are soccer cleats. Oh, soccer. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm for sure of that. So, but in good shape though. Definitely. Those will sell. I've definitely yeah. sold a lot of cleats <clears throat> over time. If they weren't Nike, I'd probably take those to Once Upon a Child as well. Okay, so far there's nothing great. Sorry, Bug, I know you're waiting. These are like a no brand. The size looks to be totally worn off. So listen, I don't get disappointed anymore because you win some, you lose some for sure. These are just some snow boots, but the size was written there. So honestly, I don't even know if Once Upon a Child will take these. They've got a lot of loose strings. So, so far, the, I mean, the out there are all right in condition. I don't mm -hmm. know, we'll see. All right, next we have new with tags, a pair of Wonder Nation size five. I know it was at Walmart, mm -hmm. sells Wonder Nation. But again, at least for your once upon a child, you think yeah. that they're new with a tag, they're definitely gonna take those. And I'll go trade in all of the shoes I don't want from all these three boxes and come out with two or three that are gonna make me a great profit. So that's how I have to look at it. I thought these were maybe going to be something good. No, they're not. not. <laughs> they are the Quite brand nice. Mountain Creek, never heard of it. And again, oh, I do see a size tag. Um, size nine. So another let's go to buy, sell, trade shoe, which is fine because I've got a lot to take there right now. Yeah, anyway. You forewarn them, that's what comes in these boxes. Sometimes, now I've had one that was filled with mini Melissa's and Uggs. Oh, sorry about the camera. It just depends. There we go. Right. So some more buy, sell, trade. You see Arizona. Athletic works, it's called. They're obviously just some cheapy sandals. They do, I would say more uh, mix of a water shoe type because it's like a neoprene strap. So I'm sure they wouldn't be too uncomfortable, but yeah. size 11, 12. Every box I've gotten from Arizona has been like this. Shoot. Yeah, they like, don't be good stuff. I don't know, it makes no sense. Here, I don't know what these are gonna be. Oh, bug, uh-oh. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought though, Delaney. All right, these are, I see the uh, Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, there you go. Okay, so at least we've got a brand name. Oh, uh, size two. All man-made materials, but they're cute. Um, oh, they see, do have toe stuff. They're yeah, there is. Yeah, so too much for me to list. So these will definitely go to buy, sell, trade. Yeah. Unfortunately, also. But those would have been a cute pair for you, big fit. All right, another pair of Wonder Nation. Well, brand Wonder Nation. Some fake leather, Burks. fake yeah, Birkenstocks, size five. Buy, sell, trade. Okay, so out of this box, I'm listing cleats so far. Cleats so far. Oh. Okay, I'll list these. These are little, little baby Converse, aren't they cute? I have sold tons and tons. These, I'm gonna throw them in the washer because they've got some goo in there. They are a toddler size five, but with the wash, little magic eraser on the edges. These will go for about $20 shipped, so 18 to 20. All right. Not terrible. And last pair, I think these will be listable actually. Oh. So we've got some New Balance kids, uh, youth size four. Uh, we need threes, bug. We need threes, but um, <laughs> they're, cute. they're in good shape. A little dirty, so some some wiping here and there, but saving grace. The last pair. Yep, those you can. List. So we got three, six, <laughs> seven, box. eight, nine, exactly ten. That was a crappy. You box. want those back into this box before we move on to the next no, one? No, it's fine. Just leave them all out. Yeah. All right. So 10, I'm gonna write down. Oh, please have me a pencil box. Mm -hmm. All right, and you don't wanna just stick with the not good Arizona box before you get into the Georgia box? You know what, let's do Arizona again and we'll end with Georgia okay. and hope it's better. All right, so let me make sure 100% that this is from Phoenix, all right. And Every time I open the a little bit of paper, and they like it's just like balled up, like from yeah, like, like that. That's how they talk it. They're like, however it lands. Yeah. <laughs> they really don't care. It's luck of the draw for me because I'm in Florida, so most boxes come from Georgia. But there okay, so there's ten. Okay, so another pair of soccer cleats. Hyper no. Hyper, what does it say? Hyper venom. <laughs> I can read. Thanks, babe, for oh. helping me. No, I really couldn't. You couldn't figure that out. Okay. No. Hyper. Venom. Hyper venom. And they're in great shape. It's the thing with, with um, kids' cleats is they probably wore them for one little season. At least these, these ones didn't, they didn't walk around concrete. One and a half so the, year youth. The actual cleats no, are the really other ones were from shape. 20, Delaney, you're hey, you're shaking table. the table, baby. 
The other ones were from 2016. These are from 2014. So they're old. Oh, these do have a lot of toe wear on this one. But I'll look at comps. If I can make at least $10 profit on them, um, I will list them. All right. Uh, I have a pair of tap shoes here. It looks like American Ballet. Which is what? Theater. No, yep. So ABT. These are the ones you get at Target. Is that where Target these or Payless? One of the two. Okay. I did just sell just yesterday a pair of tap shoes on Mercari so, for eighteen dollars. At least mine, the patent leather shipping. looks good. Yeah. You know, these obviously are, the plates have been used, but yeah, they're a only lot of life left them. They're twenty dollars, brand new. So. Yep, twenty four ninety nine. Oh, actually, sticker. Well, per, so all oh, these are Payless then. That's the Payless sticker. Oh, okay. You so it. at least that's good. I'll list them for like twelve, like half off, and you can tell they were maybe done for one season. Please stop hitting the table. You're gonna have to go. Okay. So I would not have picked up any of this except for maybe those New Balance so far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's, she doesn't see in the box clock. either. Like I'm just handing her one at a time for y'all to see, and I know before handing it to her what she's gonna say. Lifehouse. I remember that band. Did they sing? Um, Drops of Jupiter. Is that no. them? Oh, no. That's Train. Oh, we're old. What did Lifehouse sing? Anyway, well, I honestly probably couldn't tell you. These the song. are size 17, which I don't even know what country that's from. No, that's by Cell Train. Maybe. All right. I'm gonna eat my words that buy sell trade won't take anything from me. Yeah. Ew, so here, those are so hairy. Yeah. So these are cat and jack. Yeah. Look at all the dog hair. Ew. In the laces. <laughs> uh, um, kids size I saw there. thirteen. I thought, yeah. So. At least they're in okay shape. Yeah. I'll throw them in the washer Nothing. and buy sell trade will take them because they're actually. See? Now these these scream our daughter again. Oh, Bug! She loves some Converse. These are cool. They remind me bug. of that bubble gum. You can come say hi. Fruit. Oh fruit, no! Fruit stripes. Was that what it was? The zebra that was like rainbow yeah, color. Fruit stripes. I think. Yeah. Fruit Look stripes. at these. These are so it's cool. Like a zebra what do you think? I don't think zebra pattern, but like this rainbow. This is his twin. In case y'all have never met my Bug before. Yeah. So these actually just need a little magic eraser. They are her size, which is a kid's size three. So there you have it, win. Now, the way I look at it, okay, we spent $108. These brand new would have cost, I don't know, 40 bucks or so. And now she's got a pair of school shoes. So, you know, I count that as like that $40 box that we did in the beginning, fine. Cause I got her a cute pair of Converse for school. All right, thank you, ma'am. You can sit back over there. All right, next I have some Circus by Sam Edelman, six and a half. Is that a, a kid's shoe? No. That's a women's shoe. Yep. But my Once Upon a Child does take um, up to size eight. But it's, uh, they're suede and they're in good shape. No, they're fabric right? uppers. Fabric uppers. So yep. it's a fake suede. So Circus is the lower level. It fooled me. <laughs> it's the lower level. Um, it, oh, do you like those Converse? She's checking them out. So yeah, these I will probably... I don't know. They're actually in really good shape once I wipe them down. That's what I'm saying. I might list them. The fake suede looks good. <laughs> we call it vegan leather. No, okay, sure. <laughs> well, we've had this shoe in many, many sizes. And but colors. these are loved. Some red Converse. They're also a size three. Do you have red ones right now? Um, I'll check. She I is my Converse kid. Keegan. Red handed yeah okay i think handy, she already handy downs handy downs we have handy downs i love kids so these are definitely loved uh so i will double check that she indeed has these in threes i'm pretty sure she does otherwise i like to list she converse but no these are um once upon a child worthy because they they were just really worn okay all right we've got some worn oh kids new balance classic five seven fours like really worn but yeah they've got some wear to them yeah. size is a seven but like the toe piece there's kind of starting I don't to think off. Will even take, look, no one there's some not it's lost the little no one's ever gonna guy. want to buy this box but like, look yeah, i'm telling know. you if you've watched my channel you know i've gotten some good ones over the, the years there you go some Nautica size eight little boat shoes. They're actually in okay shape, but again, these are not gonna 
bring me $10 profit. So these are a no. All right, and then last, some no name other boots. I want to say the tag says AZ Jane inside, so maybe the Arizona Jane. Is that a brand you know of? No, Size that's, one. That's the, um, they are Arizona jeans. I can see the Arizona in there. So they're size one and... So that's the name of the boot? Is yeah, it Arizona Jane? The leather is all coming off. So I will is attempt... That peeling? Oh, on that fake cord. Yeah, I'll attempt to take these to yeah, once upon a time. on the inside, but they scuff each other when walking. They probably. probably won't take these. And these, I will... If they don't, I'll throw them in the size up tub for my youngest, who's in a 12. These are a good, like, dress-up shoe, Halloween, you know... I mean, they like to just wear boots over jeans. Okay, so this one had one, two, three, four. You can throw these back in. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly again. Arizona don't play. They don't give you any bones. Georgia typically. No whoopsies. No. Well, if they're like tiny, tiny sizes, sometimes they will stick in. Five. What are you? Why are you making it have a knot? Oh, okay. I'm trying to fix the knot. The blood's in a knot. Oh, excuse me. These are actually these are really cute. Like these definitely scream her. She is my. Rainbow, sparkles, glitter, converse, loving. She'll no, wear converse we'll with a poofy dress. No. Georgia, the Georgia do right already. Yeah, I just want to see all the difference. We'll show our address. They can't see it from there. It's fine. Come find me. Come at me. Hey. But look how, well, look how neatly beautiful. it's packed. With bubbles. With see, bubbles Georgia just. With bubbles and a sticker. They care. Look at the presentation. Georgia cares. Georgia does care. Look at like the bubbles. Look, and I'm wrapping an Atlanta hat. Look at that. See all these bubbles that I'll reuse. See, I already love this box better. Please have something good. Because so far, I would have picked up two out of the 20. Oh, you're going to be happy already. I am? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, close your eyes. Okay. These are for you, but you're going to have to open. Mini Melissa. And go. Oh, Sorrel boots. Yay. Sorrel, Sorrel, I never say They actually, okay, so you can't tell, but I also want to talk about Georgia. So like, they layered like a layer of shoes and they put a piece of paper and then they layered shoes. Not like Arizona piece, where they- Like there's no shoes rubbing against each other causing further damage. These are so shipping. cute. Okay, these will make up for one of the last boxes. There's, they're- You can't pick where the boxes come from though, no. right? No. Yeah, because otherwise you'd be clicking And I'm so all day. sad, you know, I, I, I did finally score a fun box for us to, two of them. Mm -hmm. The other day, I checked every day, I finally got them. Is that what came in the mail? We haven't opened yet, those big boxes over there? No. Those aren't um, fun boxes? Okay. There's, there's boxes all over our house, people. I can't find the, oh, here we go. This Wait looks here. nice. Everything size over here is seven. boxes. So these are in amazing condition. Waterproof little snow boots, size seven. I need to be having those. Both of the fun boxes are coming from Arizona. Wow. And I've checked every day for them for weeks, but my last one I made hundreds of dollars on. All right, next we have a pair of oh. red cowboy boots. Cowboy boots, uh, cowgirl. Ooh. They were in the mud. If they're girls or I'm thinking girls just because they're red. I think that's more of a. Oh, I don't know. I thought boys because they were red. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, anybody can wear red boots, obviously. A. That's what I'm trying to read. Jackna product. A Jack. Looks like J A M A. Jamma. That's the only thing it says in there, and it says no one two five. Yeah. So no. There's no. Do they feel like real leather? I can't even. I don't know. Maybe. I, I thought those were real suede, so I'm not the one Actually, to ask. I think they do smell like real leather. So I'm worried about sniffing. I know, but I did it anyway. There. I do I love the sweat. smell of weather, but... Yes, baby. No, I was going to sniff that one. You want to hand daddy the shoes? Yeah. Well, then come around behind the camera. Okay. Okay, right. so Georgia was hot out the gate. We're not done yet, but... At least they're new with tag, Garanimals. Garanimals. Little jellies. But I know that Buy, Sell, Trade will definitely take those, so... All right, mystery hand, hand me a pair of shoes. And we have another womp womp. But we started out with sorrel boots. So. Yeah. Um, it literally are no name. It just says toddler boys. No, that looks blocks. like Dollar General. No clue. One for 250 or two for four. So anyhow. But again, I buy sell trade will take that because they're brand new. Yeah. So. And they'll sit there and someone will buy them close to the 4th of July. Yeah. When they do their display. Yeah. Mystery hand. More shoes, please. Thank you. These ones go to mommy. Wonder Nation. Oh. Little baby size four, but they are in better condition than the Arizona junk. So, like I know Bicel Trade will take them. 
All right, next I got some Carter's size eight. Ooh. Oh, I heard her say, ooh, don't be peeking. Unicorns <laughs> on the back, but they're in good shape. They're clean, so buy, sell, trade. Those are cute. Will gladly accept those from us. Did you hear her? She went, yeah, ooh. It's, I see it's something glittery. Uh-oh. There you go. See. What size are they? Oh, there are four, so they might fit you. Julia? Hawaii? Something made in Italy. Julia, Julia, I don't know. Julia, Julia. These do, <laughs> I don't know. It's from a movie. Oh. They are just man-made man synthetic. So just because it says made in Italy doesn't mean it's anything. They are a size four. So Delaney Rose, do you like these? Yes. yes. Okay. So she has claimed these. Well, then you're just winning. Winning. One for, so hey, she happened to be the kid who asked, oh, she saw we were doing a video. Can I be in? And there really isn't anything any of the others would have right. fit. We've got a pair here for resale. Okay. So we've got a uh, boys pair of Nikes here, it looks like. Um, the Hirachi. Hirachi. Yeah. Nike. Well, they're nice inside. They're in good shape, though. Maybe. Is it missing the insole, or is that just how they come? This is how it is. Is oh. it squishy? Mine's squishy. Oh. It just doesn't see anything on the insole. So, but... Like I said, just a, a little dirt on the bottom, easily wiped off. Oh, yeah. The shoe itself is in very good shape. Toddler size 11. So. Those are sellable. We'll take those. Mystery. Come on. Come on. Oh, I see oh, something Oh, mystery else. hand. Sorry. Oh, mystery. She said, you didn't say mystery hand. Oh, so there's two. Okay. These are your size, bud. And these are brand new. These are. Never been worn. The leather kind of converse. Yeah, they definitely look Based brand. on the sole, like, yeah. See, these are the kind of boxes I like to get. Um, They're sharp, though. I've never seen that all... Yeah, I've seen them in white. Black, with the black outer. So, great for if you have to have school. They aren't brand new. They were definitely worn, like, once, because there's a little bit of dirt. Oh, and yours... Mine doesn't have that. I guess it might. Yeah. So, these aren't sparkly enough for her, but... Barely size worn. Big Kid 3. Mystery hand. Thank you. Both at the same time. Thank you. I like these. All right, we got a pair of Converse mids. Yeah, a nice gray canvas. Um, my son says. Keegan had pairs like this before. They are. Where the laces are short. You're not supposed to wear them tied. They just stay knotted like that. Yeah. And there's that um, elastic these under are... the tongue to keep them on your feet. Um, but much like the black pair, may be worn a couple times. Fair but size six. The uppers are very clean. Yeah. No wear to them. I'll make. These will, it's a good these will live for I'd wear that in one. my son's like closet for a little while. So hey, that's a great. Is that it? Is that the last pair? Magic hand. Okay, okay so thank you. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly ten, 10 again. again. So indeed, thirty pairs, three dollars and sixty-two cents each. Now out of this Georgia box, I absolutely would have picked up both pairs of Converse, probably the Nikes because they're in great shape. The Sorrel Sorrels. boots, probably not the cowboy boots, only because they don't have a size. So. I would have picked up half of them, which I, you know, and my daughter got a pair from two boxes. So all in all, if you order a kid's shoe box, just hope that it does not come from Arizona is my, my tip. Now the Pennsylvania kid's shoe boxes, that's where I've gotten mini Melissa's Uggs. That's um, the best one to get. In my, in my experience. I don't know. And I don't, mechanics see, you know. All right. So that's it. That's three kids shoe rescue boxes. I was going to say, okay, let's go clean them all. And but I'm only going to be listing a few of these. So, all right. Thanks, Helper, for helping us out today. All right. Bye, guys.